Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here. Hi, my name is Victoria, and I'm a mess. If you want to support me, subscribe and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I'm going to be talking about something today that I don't know if anyone like actually gives a fuck about, but we're in my office, which means you know we're about to get into some stuff on the computer. Demonetization and censorship has been something that's been talked about a lot on YouTube within the past like six months. It's gotten really bad. <laughs> Basically, if you don't know, demonetization refers to the ads being removed from your videos. Basically, YouTube has these extremely loose guidelines as to what content is advertiser friendly and what content isn't. Technically, if you use foul language in a video, which I use in every single one of my 73 videos, it is not suitable for advertisement, profanity, political views, religious topics, things that are just like very touchy are not allowed to be monetized. Advertisers don't want to slap their brand on something that is controversial. People get really upset about the idea of demonetization. I feel like I kind of have a little bit of a different outlook on it. Censorship is a completely different issue. Like if YouTube came to me and was like, we're taking this video down, that's when I would have an issue. But what you have to understand is an advertiser wants to put their ads on something that will appeal to a lot of people and won't offend people. If you see an ad for Maybelline before one of my videos, and then the video that I put out pisses you off or offended you or made you feel weird, you may not know it, but in your head, you're gonna associate that brand with that negative connotation of the video. And that's just something I wanna sh and that's what I want to stress. Yes, a lot of my videos got demonetized, but I understand why. I figured just for shits and giggles, we would go through the videos that have been demonetized by YouTube and Google on my channel. I have them pulled up right here on my screen. And I'm gonna start with like the earlier videos because it's funny to me that they like dug so far back and then we'll get into the more recent ones. First video, I got called a tranny. It's like a little skit that I did with myself. This was over two years ago and it's kind of embarrassing. One that kind of confused me was my video, my ghost attack plus footage. That was actually real and like serious. So I don't understand why that would be demonetized. I guess like demons are like religious cause like isn't a demon like the opposite of like a god? I don't know. I tried to read the Bible, I just didn't like the plot. Another one that kind of pissed me off was the video what a real transgender woman looks like. That was literally a video of just me being like raw as fuck, like sitting in my bedroom talking about like my flaws. Sex talk, threesomes, fetishes, and writing. Honestly, completely understand that one. I'm pretty sure like Pampers baby diapers wouldn't want to put their ad on a video of me talking about deep throating cock. I get it. Pampers, there's no beef here. Why black people are better than white people. That one's just like factual. So I was literally just presenting facts. I don't understand. My first time giving head. No? Honestly, I feel like that's something you would like, if I was a company, I would want to put an ad on that. If you've never sucked dick before, you kind of want to learn like from someone who's experienced like how to do it. It's more of like an educational thing because there are so many girls out here who don't know how to suck dick. And it's honestly, it's sad and it's pathetic. And I think it's almost becoming like an epidemic. People ask me all the time, do I spit or swallow? And it's 2017. If you're not swallowing at this point, you're honestly like, like just behind like that is natural selection at its finest like you are about to be wiped off this planet eating breakfast hidden cam it was just a video of me eating my breakfast but i feel like maybe what set them off was the hidden cam part i feel like maybe they think it was like a webcam that got hacked or something and someone was like jacking off to me eating my avocado toast but i can guarantee that's not the case i love how at the top of this playlist it says if you've earned less from ads recently it may be because some of your videos have been identified as not suitable for all advertisers. Not for all advertisers, for any advertiser, honestly. Like some of the stuff on my channel is fucking ridiculous. So what's the takeaway from this? Am I gonna change my content? No. Am I gonna change my titles? Probably. I mean, YouTube isn't my main source of income, so it's not like I have to like abide by their fucking rules. This is really the last of my worries. This is my channel. And like I always say, 
YouTube is like a TV. If you don't like this channel, just switch it. Pick another fucking channel. I love you guys so much. All of my social media is in the description. Be sure to follow me on there, especially Instagram. That's where I'm definitely the most active. I have a few links in my description as well. My facial feminization fundraiser, GoFundMe is in the description. Steph Sanyadi, by the way, donated $100 and I am so appreciative of that. Thank you so much. I think it's great that she's using her platform to like help other people especially since i dragged her in one of my videos i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye